Hi everyone, welcome to your Grace YouTuber. Um, today, I mean, I've already made a video today, but so so this video is specifically my own experience of helping myself and people, uh, especially in England, Wales, and um, the areas around. It might not apply to uh, people who are in. Africa, Asia or other continents, especially Europe and England would be um, applicable here, mostly. So this is what I felt and uh, while applying for an IT job. And I think it's really important that especially young teenagers or people who have already been in the field or they're looking for their trainee roles uh, need to be sure of how to move their cells into IT. So supposedly, so from a perspective, um, I need my first IT job. So I keep on applying. Um, I shouldn't take the name, they haven't given me any money for promotion, but yeah, uh, why not? So I'll just take two or three names. So suppose it's Hayes IT, um, Indeed, rock set you know these places all of them they are looking for someone um i wouldn't say trainee it support because trainee it support sometimes uh beforehand comes with an apprenticeship if they are offering any so someone who is more than the age of 18 19 how would they land up apart from apprenticeship so supposedly you apply on Indeed in a first line support support role. So first line support role is a really basic sort of role and you have to move yourself in. So I've just scribbled the paper this way so that it gets more easier. Now first thing, supposedly you have nailed an interview for first line support. And it will include a lot of stuff in there for first line support. So first, first, my suggestion is once you go for the interview, see what tools you need before going on for the interview. So when I say tools, I say transport. And then I say any suggestions? Area, locality, check on Google, Google Maps before going. My writing has come so bad with this one, this pen. So locality, so you can check Google Maps. Uh, if you drive, you need to check for parking spaces because you'll be going there daily on a daily basis. And you have to in the interview discuss your options with the employer as well if you go on the bus you should be looking at bus routes and then very important how much you will be spending in a month spending monthly so if you are able to take a risk to go for that role fine so You've nailed your first job. You need to know your transport options. How much money for transport? Check Google Maps before going. See what car parks are around. What are the bus routes that you'll be following? And then what are the shops to buy lunch from? See, these are all the things that you need to know. Um, uniform. What will be the uniform down there? Oh, so there'll be a lot of other aspects that will be involved. So that's from your side. And because you need to be punctual, because it's your first IT role or second or third, so you'll be moving in there. Now, when I say first line support, it's a really big scenario. So you can be doing first line support for, you know, different tools. So I would say Active Directory. active 
directory or you are doing um, support for remedy systems Or you might be doing support for Windows 8 or 10. Windows 8, 10. Oh, just, just to remind you that desktop support, I've just at the moment combined desktop support here as well with the other support that we have. So this is basically first line support. I'm not talking about mostly more about application support and database support. So that's basically, these are the jobs. Sometimes you can find them a bit more easier. Now, now first thing is when you go and nail your interview down there, they'll be asking you troubleshooting questions. You need to ask them regarding training. So when I say you need to ask them regarding training. Now, what I have felt um, in the jobs I've applied, a lot of people do apply for them, that um, they will train you in technical technical skills. Not all the time, sometimes they do. A lot of the times you have to do it yourself. But soft skills, because because mostly soft skills are needed because you'll be on the telephone, and you'll be on the chat lines all the time. You'll be doing emails on chat. So these, these soft skills are really important. They are not taught a lot. So either um, usually you do it yourself, the soft skill bit. And if you feel you can't do it, do not apply for the job because you'll be wasting your time and you'll be wasting the time of the employers as well. So probably a good idea to get a small course in soft skills, talking on the phone and listening, listening on the phone, very important, listening. Now, uh, the, the main thing here is soft skills are so, so important. Technically, you might be very sound, but to a normal person, when you're explaining them their issue, then you have to tell them in a way that they can understand. Now, other thing that I need to focus more on is priority. So my writing is going really bad with this one. Right. So let me just move it on this side. Naughty pen, hold on. So other thing I'm gonna say, different priorities are Priorities. Different priorities are allocated to different tasks. So supposedly there is a priority which you can deal with, or second line support, which are the seniors in that sense have to deal with, or in a priority supposedly in a priority scheme, uh, is is uh, an issue which is ongoing. So if it's an ongoing issue. If it's an ongoing issue or if it's a regular issue which comes on again, there'll be knowledge bases. So you can refer to so you can refer to a knowledge base um, telling them or a resolution of the issue to resolve it. And then for that, that's the side you and the client. So you can resolve it by this. But now, the most important thing, which I struggled with a lot as well, because um, a lot of the places where I did training, uh, so sometimes um, the admin and the management came in that we don't have enough time to teach you soft skills. And then because I've been working more with agencies and agencies are very worried about their clients, so I did convey them. So that's an important factor as well. Uh, the agent, if you're going to work for an agency, you have to talk with your rep again and again to convey the message that I need more training on in soft skills. And when I was hired for the job, they told me or in the interview when you'll be hired that your training 
area is going to be three weeks to four weeks. But suddenly someone um, goes off sick or someone old comes back or someone leaves for, you know, whatever reason. So they will put you in the front end, which has happened and it keeps on happening. So once you go in the front end, your soft skills are down because you haven't been trained. Agency told you that your soft skills are going to be trained in four weeks. But then again, uh, you were put after one week on the job. So there's no middle way in this. So that is why soft skills are very important. That you need to do a course in soft skills or improve your soft skills before you end up there. Because agency will not take the responsibility in most of the cases unless you're really exceptional. And then you'll be out of the job. Number one is you'll be out of job. And you've left your previous job as well. So you'll be stuck in the middle. And your clients where you'll be working, they'll be saying, oh, his performance, his performance pointers are not really good. So it's, it's an ongoing issue. So that is why I sort of shared this with you. That these are the issues they'll, that will be you'll be dealing with. And there'll be more technologies like Citrix. And there might be a lot of application management going on. And you might be doing support for other portals as well. So now, regarding all this, just forget about what is here. You need to know, you'll be going there for five days. And you'll be sitting on the desk for 11 hours. Now, if you're going to go there for five days and sit on the desk for 11 hours, can you do it? Can you do 11 hours of work? You need to understand and in order to get your experience in the first line support, you need to be mentally prepared that you are going to do five days and you have to sit 11 hours. So one hour I've probably taken out because of the breaks that you do, because in some places there'll be very, very long shifts. So that's one thing. Now, the most important bit I'm going to talk to you about now is now. If, if a client phones you, or a customer phones you, so you need to have troubleshooting skills. So, if you don't have troubleshooting skills, you need to have soft skills. So you can find help from your colleagues, which are around you, or from your seniors from the second team, they can advise you better what to do. Now, when I say you're going to give advice, now, so if someone phones you regarding an area of problem, area of problem, second line, second line support will look at your logs. So how you have written the problem. Now, if you yourself don't know how to write logs, very important how to how to write logs. So logs are going to be the problems that you will encounter. And if you want to send a copy of your log to your friend, your colleague who's around you or second team, Second line team needs to understand what you have written. Now, if soft skills and technically you haven't been trained in that area, you will be facing a lot of trouble because reason is when they start doing performance pointers, after two, three months, they'll start saying that, you know, I think this person isn't performing well. And nowadays the market has become really tough in that sense. So you need to know how to write your logs by always mentioning customer advised using words like these. It's not customer told me that this is the reason that um, their internet is going slow. No, customer advised that there's a problem with their internet and this is the time and that that's what the issue is. So then if it's an application issue, if it's something else, they need so it, it's more easier. Those days are gone. 
ladies and gentlemen, when you were given more chances in log writing. Now problem is, everyone will have their own uh, set of problems they are dealing with. And when someone as a trainee comes in, and because there's so many people in the market at the moment, so they'll be they'll start thinking, or oh, maybe maybe we can hire someone else, and just give them a spark, and they might we might see the spark in them. So no one will train you to a point where you are a lot confident in the job that you do. Very less, very very less firms will do that. So my suggestion is, for your experience, get into the job. You know, for uh, get a contract, my, my suggestion would always be that get a contract for two, three months, first line support contract for three months, if you can manage, especially if you don't have a family and um, family meaning you're not, you know, in a relationship or married or with kids. So you start from there. Anyone who is married and have kids, they should be looking at these aspects that they'll be out of the job and can be out of the job. If these because um, the company and has a strict policy and uh, there is no way that you can convey to them that you know my training was being lax that is why my performance is down because as a normal employee you won't be able to suggest or even have a quiet word with them they might give you a chance they might not so yeah this, this is the scenario which I wanted to talk with you so Again, just a brief explanation. Transport cost, clothes you will wear, bus route if you don't drive, how much you'll be spending monthly for your fuel, and how much you'll be spending for your lunch. And is there um, training available in the interview? They say that training is available, but sometimes you might not get it. So it's better to learn your soft skill and technical skills, especially troubleshooting scenarios somewhere somehow you get them all the time you can see them in google uh, go on a knowledge basis forums and there's knowledge basis in your work related self as well and then think of the priority list when you take a phone call just be courteous and if you don't understand anything just stay calm and ask your colleagues and um, then because you will have regular performance reviews in your first line support then if you have if you have a very mediocre or very less soft skills you will really suffer in the job and especially technical skills as well in some areas but very important thing is if you need to survive in the industry you need to know how to do troubleshooting a little bit and soft skills obviously you have to do them logs how to write logs so if there's a problem that you encounter and you have to move your log that you have logged a problem in your log and you have to give that to your second line support or your seniors and second line has to give it to third line supposedly in some cases or sometimes your colleague might need to look at it so you need to be more prominent sure Last but not the least, your typing skills will really matter as well. Listening and typing, so you listen to the problem. You categorize in an area where it goes. You, you write your log properly. And because um, the calls will keep on coming. So when the calls are coming, make sure that you allocate your time to different calls. Otherwise, the calls will be catching up. And there'll be more calls coming in. Uh, thank you so much. I hopefully, I hopefully, right. Hopefully this um, video would have been useful. I'll keep on coming back with more videos as well. And um, yeah, we'll carry on from there. But someone who wants to go for their first, uh, first line support job. Or supposedly they have been in first line support. They, they would have known a lot of these aspects already. Now, people might have difference of opinion. Some of them might be, because I am, I am talking with regards to everyone. So you have students who can be 
um, sharp. You have people who can be really, um, you know, they can understand. Some, some people are more visual, some people are more practical. But here, when they want someone for their first line support, and if they do give you a chance, or they have given you a chance, they'll be observing you. So here, you might have to learn more. You might have to focus more on uh, this area, especially. And this video is specifically for um, people who live in England, Wales, Ireland, Scotland, this area. Because what I, I've worked more in these areas, so... There's a point where you need to push yourself and there's a point where you need to know and stand there and see whether it'll be prominent for me to grab a certification. You, you will still need a job experience, but grab a certification like N plus CCNA or Juniper. Oh, there's a lot of it at the moment because they, these ones are quite now you have Amazon, you have AWS, there's a lot of certification. You do certification, but these things will still be there. You, ladies and gentlemen, soft skills, soft skills, soft skills will be a very important part of your job. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. Please do share this video with other people before they end up going to far off places and putting themselves in a scenario where they're out of the job, out of money as well, <laughs> you know, because I've, I've been through a lot of these things. So that is why I wanted to share because we are all friends. We are all brothers. We are all really good friends at the end of the day. So I think my, uh, my responsibility as someone who loves IT, who has been in IT, who has graduated and has got degrees from all over the world and years of experience and years of learning. This is the thing which is not taught in the uni. This thing will be taught right in the middle where you are doing work here. You might have gone lucky and you'll be, uh, you know, moving forward. But a lot of people who haven't been lucky, they need to analyze and see what they can do and what they cannot do. They cannot be wasting their time on something which they are not going to achieve. Yes, again I'm saying that you get a role for one, two months time, three months time, then you start analyzing, you see how you go, then you get some experience, move to the next level. If you feel that you can, fine. If you feel you cannot, then choose another field in IT where you don't have a lot of interaction on the telephone, so you're more of a techie, more of a technician. Bye.